welcome to nav classes today we're going to discuss all square roots in previous lecture we discussed square how to solve square problems now today we are going to discuss square root tricks under math tricks so here first of all you should know about all squares like square of 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 till 9 you should know all squares this is very easy to remember them firstly please subscribe if you didn't yet and ring the bell with subscribe button so that you will get all lectures in your email id as and when i upload them okay now when you know that squares of 2 is 4 3 9 16 25 36 49 64 and 81 then we are going to know about some basics of square root trick okay so i am telling you some basics of square root trick so here we check out what are the squares of 1 okay it means any number which is having one at the end any square of which is having one at the end for example 9 square is 81 so 81 is having one at the end okay and one square is one so one is having one okay na according to this we are going to write down sum and secondly there is 4 4 any number having 4 at the end 2 square is 4 and 8 square is 64 so 8 okay so we should know about these all or we should uh, learn these all so i am telling you how to derive all them so these are just basics i am telling you right now So eight square is sixty four. Eight multiplied by eight is sixty four. Then we will take about third, which is six. So six comes at the end of which square? We can see from that as well. Six comes uh, four. Six six multiplied by six is equal to thirty six. So I am writing like that. And four multiplied by four is equal to sixteen. So there are four and six. For six at the end, okay. Now, fourthly, nine. So, three square is equal to nine, and seven square is equal to forty-nine, having nine at the end. Okay. So we know all these all. Now, at the end, we are talking about five. See, for five, there is nothing but only five. Five square is twenty-five. So, for others like one, two. And three, there is no need to solve them. No need to know about their pairs because there is no other value like five. Okay, like three is not coming in any other square, so we are not considering three. So we considering these or pairs. And for others, there is only one. There is no other pair like five is not having any pair. One, four, six, and nine are having pairs, so we can remember them or we can. derive them as we did here okay so now i'm going to teach you the trick so how to work on the trick is see just see if i want to take the square root of 2401 okay 2401 1. then what do we do we split out just take last two digits and split them out from last okay step 1 is we are going to solve for last one last is saying that 0 1 it means 1 1 is coming in pair of 1 and 9 see we derived here 1 and 9 so the 1 is coming and 1 and 9 so we will write here 1 and 9 we solve first the last two digits we solved here in first step Now step two, we are going to solve other remainings. Like this is twenty four. For twenty four, we are going to see that twenty four should come in uh, any number of which square is twenty four or less than four. The square should be equal to twenty four or less than twenty four. For example, four square is sixteen and five square is twenty five. So we are not considering twenty five because it is more than twenty four. We are considering four only. So here we considered four. So we took out four. Now we are not going to consider twenty five. Okay, because the here we are going to take square should be equal to. Twenty-four 
or less than 24 okay so after that we know that according to our equation 4 is correct answer because it is less than 24 and 5 is not correct because 25 is not less than 24 now we understood step second step third under step third we are going to derive equations like our answer can be 4 and 1 1 we how we take 1 for 24 we took uh, for 24 we got 4 in step second and 1 we got in step 1 see answer can be 41 or 49 9 we got under step 1 so 1 and 9 we got in step 1 ok so our answer can be 41 or 49 1 and 9 as we derived in step 1 now we understood now in step 4 we are going to select 1 out of 41 or 49 so we write down here for 41 or 49 ok so how do we select 1 so 1 we will uh, add 1 with 4 we are working on 4 here in step 4 so write down 4 multiplied by 5 so we are adding 1 with 4 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 20 ok now in step 5 we will be able to take our answer we will be able to get our answer so our question was asking about 2401 square root ok so see this 20 is lesser than 24 in question we were having 24 so we will see 24 is greater than or higher than 20 that we got in step 4 so which equation we should take is 41 or 49 we will see as per our question our question is somewhat more it means 24 is more than 20 so we will take higher one so 49 should be our correct answer so 49 is square root of 2401 is correct answer let us take another question um, 1 2 5 4 4 ok square root of 1 2 5 4 4 so we will split it just take last two digits see I am writing here and split that last two digit like this ok then we will work in step 1 with last two digits so this is 44 we are considering only 4 ok after splitting we are considering last one it means 4 comes in which square so we are getting two pairs for this 2 and 8 ok as 2 square is 4 and 8 square is 64 so 4 comes in 2 pairs 2 and 8 ok so here we work only on last digit like 44's last digit is only 4 if in case it would be 94 then we will work in that case also on 4 only ok last digit so now we will see uh, which square is lesser than or equal to 125 so 11 square is 1 to 1 which is lesser than 125 so we will take 11 in step 3 we, we write down 11 and then 2 and 118 which we derived in first equation so we just write down two equations here and in step 4 we will add 1 to 11 and multiply it with it it means 11 multiplied by 12 ok 11 multiplied by 12 is 132 132 in fifth in fifth step we will be able to get our answer so what should be our answer 112 or 118 so this was our question 12544 ok so 125 is less than 132 which we got in step 4 so our answer should be lesser 1 so 112 should be our answer ok see clearly 112 should be our answer because our questions 125 is lesser than 132 as we got in step 4 
so our answer should be 1 1 2 in this manner we will be able to solve such questions let's take another question this is easier one but students may get confused in such questions this question is for 25 at the end so we split it out see 5 comes in which pair for example 25 is square of 5 so there is no another pair for 5 okay this is only one digit one digit which comes under 25 it means 5 square is 25 so there is no any other other pair so it is very easy to solve second equation says we are going to solve 182 182 any square lesser than 182 or equal to 182 is 13 square 13 square is 163 okay so we are going to take it 13 so our answer is direct here our answer is 135 okay so there is no need to solve it further it is solved now in case of 5 it is solved now in any such uh, equations where there is no other pair for that the answer is very simple now we solve point questions having point okay square root of 129.96 we are going to split it up how do we remove this point we divide it by 100 okay now step 1 says solve last two so we are going to solve upper part first 96 So here we see six comes under which square? So pair for six. Pair for six are four and six. As we see here, we can see pair for six are six and four. We can write here six square and four square. Six. So we write down here for second step. Second step says solve remaining part one to nine. So now. For one to nine, we will see eleven square is one to one, which is lesser than one to nine. So here we take eleven. Step three says that make equations are two possible answers: one one four and one one six, as we derive in first and second step. Okay. Step four says multiply it with one higher. It means eleven multiplied by twelve is one thirty two. In step five, we will got we will get our answer. One twenty nine is less than one thirty two. Then what our answer should be? Our answer should be lesser one from equation three. Then one one four is answer. But the question is not solved here. See carefully. The question was. Having point, so we are going to solve root of hundred here. So one one four divided by hundred root is our answer. How to solve hundred? We all know root of hundred is ten. So one one four divided by ten one one point four eleven point four is correct answer. So do not mess up the, such questions. Please see carefully and make point surely at the end. So now here we end up with our today's lecture. See, we learn about squares, how to solve square question in our previous lecture. So must watch if you didn't yet. And today we learn how to solve square root queries under maths trick. Next, I am going to teach you cube, how to solve cube problems and cube roots, how to solve cube root problems. So. please like subscribe and share my videos with your friends so that we all will learn in groups and we can gain more knowledge out of it so click the bell with subscribe button so that you will get all notification in your email id keep checking navclasses.blogspot.in for handwritten notes and extra notes thank you